once again, these games may appear to be cute, like this little teddy bear head of my shirt, but they're actually super scary, haunted, and or cursed. Like, this shirt actually is <laughs> It's a dead teddy bear. <laughs> But anyway, our first game is called Fia's Night Out, and it's made by the same creator that made It's Not Me, It's My Basement, which was also in this series and also one of my favorites. So I am excited. Oh, well, that's a good warning right at the start. <laughs> how is that the warning before I see this? <laughs> like, how? All right, that's your pajamas on, your teeth all brushed, and moi, a good night kiss. Are we forgetting anything else before you go to bed? Treat, treat. What happened to the music? Fia, you already had a treat. In fact, you had quite a few. We can have more treats and more sweets tomorrow, okay? Good night, baby girl. I'll see you in the morning. Whoa! I'm the fastest kid. I have kid energy. All right, should I go to bed? Fia's bookshelf. Should Fia move the bookshelf? Yes. I'm a kid. I get into kid nonsense. Oh, now it's stairs. Should Fia climb the bookshelf? Yes. Fia climbs up her shelf and drawers up to the window in the corner of her room. Climbs outside. Yeah. Getting into mischief. Oh my gosh. I get to go out for Christmas. Woo. Snowmen. Yay. The tree. When Fia passes by this holiday tree with her mother during the day, it is always surrounded by crowds of eager and excited people. And yet now, as snow falls like stars from the night sky, it is strangely void of all visitors. At least Fia can get a closer look at it now. And looking closer, Fia notices a candy cane. A real one hanging off a low branch. Oh yeah, I got a treat. I got a treat counter. Yeah. What other treats? Fia spots a heart-shaped box sitting on a bench. No one to accompany it. If Fia remembers correctly, box like this usually mean chocolate. Stop eating strangers' chocolates. <gasps> More treats. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Fia's not tall enough to reach the top of the table, but she knows what it holds. A sample bowl of cookies. Always left out for passerbys to try. If she could just reach high enough... Oh, I knocked it over. Doesn't matter. Fia still got her cookies. <laughs> yeah, floor cookies. Should I go inside? Oh, where is everybody? Hello? More goodies. A small gingerbread house sits above the cookie display. Even at her toddler age, Fia could never bring herself to destroy such a precious display. She does, however, find the gingerbread man worthy of eviction. He is not strong enough nor gentle enough to lift the lid of the peppermint. Aw. She can, however, pick up the spare peppermints. Yeah! I have had five tree dog pie! Gimme, 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 gimme. Freshly baked pie. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Worth it. A freshly baked pie sits on the sill of the shop, left to be cooled by the brisk wintry air. Perhaps if they used a refrigerator instead, their hard efforts would not have been done away in an instant by the merciless jaw fia. Yum. What's next? Where's the happy music? Hello? <gasps> Um, uh, it's jelly, right? It's jelly for jelly donuts and whatnot, right? Right? What's this? A collection of coins has been left here. A message Fia recalls from her mother rings loud throughout her mind. She doesn't remember the exact words, but she remembers the sentiment. She should never take money that isn't hers. Fia does not touch the coins. Good girl, Fia. I need to see if this is jelly. Fia doesn't want to walk further down this way. It smells bad. Ugh, bad jelly donuts. Did I get all the treats? Six seems like an odd number. <gasps> I missed some. Fia stops in front of a box of candy. Yeah, I knew it was a good decision. There's a gumdrop on. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, there must be ten, right? That seems like a good number. Hmm. Saying I should be able to lift one of these cases. But I don't know with... Oh, there. The back of this... Oh, <gasps> Although... Did I just get an infinity treat? <laughs> Hack? Ah, I've had too much sugar. I need to find one more. I can't go home with nine. Are you kidding me? Yes! I was gonna say, there's gotta be something with this freaking change. The chocolate coin. <gasps> of course it is. All right, now I can go home. That's the key with these games. You just gotta check out everything. Yeah, let's go to her room and we're gonna go to sleep with a tummy ache. We're gonna throw up and make my mommy get me at 3 a.m. Good morning, Fia. Hi. It's time to get up. Did you sleep well? Did you have any dreams? Did you dream about any something fun? Treats! Goodness, you've really got a sweet tooth, don't you? Reminds me of your uncle. All right, I know you've been really wanting one, so maybe you can have a cookie with your breakfast today. Yay! You're the best mom ever. Normal end, cookies for breakfast. <laughs> so I guess because I got all the treats, I got a good end. Okay, so what if I just go to sleep? Treats can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> 
And that was an ending. <gasps> oh, hi, mommy. Give me traits. Oh, Fia, I just put you to bed. All right, you can stay up a little longer, but not too long. Oh, ask about her. I know, I know. Why is mom still up when I have to go to bed? I'll be going to bed soon, too. I'm just waiting for your Uncle Jackster to get home from work. Who's Uncle Jackster? You know, he works in this building, don't you, Fia? It's because he works for the hotel that we are able to stay here with him. And he works very, very hard. So please make sure you're on your best behavior for him, okay? He's been a very good brother by looking out for us. So I'm going to be a good big sister, and you're going to be a good niece. Okay, who's dad? Ah, Fia, dad is... We talked about this, remember? Dad is somewhere very far away. Somewhere you and I can't go, not yet. But even though we can't be with him anymore, I know he's watching over us. Oh no. So if you ever start missing daddy too much, just remember he's always looking out for you, even if you can't see him. I know he was wishing you good night too. Give me a treat. Ha <laughs> ha, Fia, I told you, we can get more treats tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll get here a lot sooner if you go to bed now, okay? So let's get back to your room. Oh, she shut the door on me. Bye, mom. So is this my uncle? Is that why my dad is gone? Oh, well, I don't care. I'm a toddler. All I care about is traits. Okay, apparently there's one here. Yes, 11. The game tricked me. But now I don't know what to do with this. Can I go back to the creepy area and do something now? I have 11 treats. Let me in. Okay, now maybe I just go home. Good morning, sleepyhead. Ready to get up now? Did you sleep well? Do you have any good dreams? Treats, so many treats. So many treats. Oh man, that sounds like a really tasty dream. I wish I could have been there. And Unica. Okay, this is, this is new. Unica, do you mean... Uncle? Oh, Unka. Do you mean uncle? Uncle, Uncle Jackson was there. Oh, so wait, I think I was dreaming, but I may, it may have been real. And Uncle Jackster was the guy coming out with the jelly axe. Oh, he was there. Oh, I bet he'd be really happy to hear that. Probably not, because I think I witnessed him doing a murder. <laughs> Yay, Uncle Jackster was there. I have so many questions. Uncle Jackster was there. He was making donuts. Also, does Uncle Jax did Uncle Jackster know Daddy? Did they get along? Because I feel like that that's why Daddy's not here anymore. <laughs> what? We didn't get anything out? We didn't get any What? Why? Thank you for playing. Oh. I need to know more. Why? Why does that Uncle Jackster do what he does? <laughs> what happened to Daddy? <laughs> Why was there 11 treats? That number seems weird and tricky. <laughs> All right, next up we have gaming with Tom Tomomi. Tomomi. I think. Tonight is the perfect night to start streaming. I could really use the donations for rent this week. Hopefully I get enough oh. to survive or my landlord will kill me. Oh. Okay, so we know our motivation. And I'm a man. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure. So am I pretending to be a cute anime girl in order to get I donations? I turn on my PC to get the live stream up and running. Ah, yes. I should know how to do this. I am also a content creator. Doors 10. <laughs> my favorite operating system. Gaming with Tomomi. Hello. I am Takahashi T Tomomi. Let's play games together because Tomomi loves you all. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be playing the game you requested in the chat today. Be prepared. There, Send. That should do it. Now let's go live. I'm bored. Wow, this is some great social content. <gasps> hey, Love hey. Welcome back to my channel, Gaming with Tomomi chan. That's me. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> because I'll be picking any games that you, my lovely subscribers recommend to me <gasps> feel free to leave any games in the chat oh my gosh it's so anime i love the fake stream has donated <gasps> wow thanks so much for the donation a million dollars dot exe looks like we've got a very interesting game to play all right guys i'm not even gonna comment on the amount of money i just got donated i will do anything for that amount of money I take that back. I would not do anything for that amount of money. Caught myself there, Laura. <laughs> I love my chat. My chat is the best. I, sorry, guys. I for, I've forgotten how. Why are you AFK? I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot the game. Was it anime.exe? What did the guy? I was so blown away by the donation. 
Okay, free download. Do not play it. It contains a virus. Amelia's Cafe, is this the same person? I played that on the last video of this. We're just circling back with all our Koopa Creepy creators today. A game where you impress the girl to not ditch you. Sounds good. Definitely not a virus. <laughs> I got donated a lot of money. I gotta do, I gotta do whatever they want. Maybe that's why I haven't been live streaming as much. It feels weird when somebody gives you a lot of money and asks you to do something and you're like, no, that's a weird exchange. <laughs> okay, did I download it? Yep. <laughs> oh, look how cute, guys. Now let's see what's in there. Dislike it on sub. No. Hey, you sloth. Get over here. I'm getting sick of you. You're always being slow. It makes me tired with house chores. I don't know what you think, but doing house chores myself is not what I need you here to be for. To be here. But what? What kind of man are you? You're being selfish. I really hate you. I'm considering that I don't want you anymore. Unless if you prove yourself that, uh, then I'll take you back. I don't care. To be honest, you seem terrible. The disappearance of 24-year-old Ethan Mitchell has left his community in shock and raised numerous questions with no immediate answers. Mitchell, who resided in a modest apartment, was last seen two weeks ago, and his absence was brought to light when his landlord, Mr. Harvest, sought overdue rent payments. Known for his introverted lifestyle, Ethan was not a familiar face in the neighborhood that much. However, concerns escalated when Mr. Harris, owner of the apartment complex, reached out to collect rent for Mitchell. After repeated failed attempts to contact him, Mr. Harris used an extra key to enter the apartment, discovering an eerily silence. Inside, the apartment appeared undisturbed, with no signs of forced entry or any indication of foul play. However, Mitchell was nowhere to be found. The only anomaly was a faint glow emitting from his computer, which was oddly switched on. I died? <laughs> Local police have urged anyone with information relating to Ethan's disappearance to come forward. As of now, the community remains on edge, anxiously awaiting answers about the fate of a young man whose vanishing act has left more questions than answers. The glow of the computer screen serves as a haunting reminder of a life suddenly interrupted. Okay. Bad ending too. No. <laughs> I did really good. Me and my past life has learned nothing. Because apparently I'll do anything for money. Get virus. <laughs> yep. Virus game. Yep. Don't worry. Not listening to any of you. You don't know what you're talking about. I trust random <laughs> software from the internet. Okay. So I have to say please. Oh, I see. You have accepted the deal. <laughs> okay then. Go cook yourself to prove it. Cook myself? Cook me or cook for you? Oh, collect perfect cooked steak as much as possible before the time runs out. Are these pieces of me? Pretty sure this is pieces of me. Did I do good? People are telling me to stop playing. Stop telling me what to do. Just what in the world is that? That's it? I won't even let you give another try anymore. Bye. Huh? What just hit my window? We probably shouldn't go look, but you're not giving me a choice. Is someone out there? <laughs> Hello? Someone threw the stone at my window. Oh, is it a fan? What? What? Hmm. <gasps> Good morning. Welcome back to the Blocks Chronicle. I'm your host, <laughs> unnamed Anchorman. <laughs> the voice today is a tragic one that has cost the life of a 24 year old Ethan Mitchell. Uh, I was just heading to bed when I heard this loud noise like someone screamed or something. The authorities were swiftly alerted. <laughs> Thank you for your eyewitness testimony. After reports of the incident, emergency services, however, were unable to revive Mitchell, and he was pronounced dead on arrival. <laughs> Our initial examination indicates no suspicious activity, but we are treating this as an unexplained death. We urge anyone with information to come forward. I love the voice acting. I love this so much. The Mitchell's flaw remains elusive, and authorities are conducting a thorough examination of the balcony and its surroundings. In other news... <laughs> I must try harder. Yeah. To cook myself properly in the mini game. Fatal Fall Bad Ending 3. So I haven't had Bad Ending 1. Are they all bad endings? All right, I gotta, I gotta go into gamer mode. Everybody likes their steak cooked different ways. What is the perfect one? Okay, I think I got it. It's this one. No, crap, that one. Oh no, that means I didn't do it. Did I pass? You don't even know what you're trying to do. Now hurry, go clean. <gasps> okay, I passed, I passed, I passed. Okay, now what? I just want to keep you happy, terrible woman. What is 
Ah! Yeah, I'm working on it! Is that enough? Probably not. I see! You're not that bad! <gasps> we did it! You won't kill me now? How about one more task? Then I'll decide whether I'll stay here with you or not. The last task is... What the... Okay, that was strange. I just got the strange feeling someone or something is watching me from outside of my apartment. I better go check it out to calm my No! Nerves. No, you shouldn't! Do I get to choose or you just... Ah, oh, you're making another terrible decision on your own. Yeah. Is someone out there? Hello? Oh, it's different. Oh, they're not there. Good. Nobody's out here. It's awfully quiet. <sighs> Maybe I just need some coffee. Ooh, yeah. Let's go get coffee. Oh, God. Is that Tomomi John? I think she's looking for something. I feel like my best bet is to sneak into the bathroom. This is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Crap. Oh. <gasps> Starved girl? What? Where was the bathroom? All right. I got this. Yes, by the way, I have to replay everything every time. Love this game. Favorite game of all time. Okay, and now we must clean. Must harness my gamer abilities. Okay, we did it. Okay, apparently, apparently this is... Yeah, something. there we go. I feel like my best bet is to sneak into the bathroom. Why did I not shut the door? Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. What are you doing? <gasps> is Tomomi gone? Was that all in my head? I think I just need to get out of the apartment and go for a walk. <laughs> it just kept going. I think there's a special place in hell for game creators that don't have a save point. <laughs> <laughs> and force people that are playing their games to replay the same stuff again and again and again. That's the real creepy part of this game. It makes you go crazy. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I've played this like five times. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the bathroom the this time you? and go all the way to something. the back. Okay, now what do I do? <laughs> Is Tomomi gone? Was that no, she's end? not! Whatever, I'm not replaying this game again. <laughs> if you want to see somebody get every single ending, hats off to them. Because I just can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. This game's gonna make me crazy. Oh, I know, there's one easier ending I can try. So I basically want to see what I do if I fail the second game. Because I haven't, because I'm amazing. So I'm just gonna sit here and let it go. Because that's what this game gets for making me replay this so many freaking times. Idiot, idiot, that's me! <laughs> You are so horrible at this. Now, I would please myself to never see you again. See you in hell. Goodbye. Okay. Did she go to hell? Wow, that was so worth having to play another 10-15 minutes of the same stuff again. In a bewildering and tragic turn of events, the online community is grappling with the mysterious death of 24-year-old streamer Ethan. Known for his engaging content and vibrant personality, Ethan met his untimely demise in his apartment while streaming, leaving fans and authorities puzzled. As always, with all of my deaths, Ethan was discovered lifeless in front of his computer. His neck gruesomely snapped, with the keyboard bearing the haunting evidence of the sudden and violent nature of his demise. The decision to keep the webcam off during the critical moments of his death has added an extra layer of intrigue to the investigation. Friends, family, and fans are left grappling with the grief of losing a beloved figure in the online community, compounded by the eerie circumstances surrounding his death. Oh, I was trending at least! <laughs> that ending four. All right, at least I got a, another ending. It'll just, I'm just, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> Create a checkpoint or a save place, and maybe I'll play the rest. All right, the next one is Cafe Venus Flytrap, and I don't trust it. I mean, of course I shouldn't trust it. It's on this episode of Cute But Creepy, but I don't know, let's give it a shot. This is so cute though. Another day, another cake. Okay, so let me get this straight. This shop is run by frogs, and it's called Venus Flytrap Cafe, and their clientele are flies, which both Venus flytraps and frogs eat. That'd be like people going to the Cannibal Cafe. Who am I kidding? I would go there <laughs> just to see what they served. Actually, I don't think I would. <laughs> I take it back. Another day, another cake. Bzzz. Mm, 
what a delicious smell. My mouth is practically watering already, but I should pace myself. Okay, I have a lot to work to do today. Bestseller books don't write themselves. I really like the atmosphere of this cafe. I should have checked it out sooner. You like the atmosphere of this cafe? Again, this would be like if I went in and there was just knives and guns and other things that could hurt me like all around. And the servers were former serial killers. I'll get something to eat in a minute, but first I'd love to look around. The cafe's so pretty. Hi, everybody. I need to know what this rainbow door does. I can't just go in. This is staff only. Of course it is. Hello, other frog person. Why, hello there, dearie. Enjoying your day? Yes, thank you. I woke up earlier today to do a lot of work. Can you tell me what this wonderful plant is called? I would love to buy one. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> this is a Venus flytrap. A useful little thing. A flytrap? Why is it called that, do you know? Sounds a little bit ominous. It's nothing like that. It's called a flytrap because it produces a very sweet nectar that flies love so much. In fact, we use the same nectar in our own recipes. That's why a lot of flies frequent our little cafe. We frogs also love this nectar, but I think no one loves it like you, flies. Have a lovely breakfast, dearie. People are so nice. Try their meat pies. They're supreme. Maybe later. What kind of meat are they made of? Hmm, I don't really know. I think they use a lot of different meats. That's why it's hard to tell. Oh no. Welcome to the Venus flytrap. We have a big assortment of pastries, desserts, and various drinks. All the food is cooked with love and a touch of homemade coziness. So I'm very glad you find it to your taste. Do you have your eyes set on some particular dessert? Or maybe you want some coffee? Mm, let me think about it. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Of course, take as much time as you need. Oh, what do I want? There's a blueberry cupcake. Lots of macaroons. <laughs> why are there so many rat macaroons? I think I'm gonna go with macaroons because <laughs> you have like 50 of them. Here is your order, sweetie. Bon appetit. I'm like, yummy. Thank you very much. Did what I choose decide something? Am I gonna die now because I ordered macaroons? Oh, sugar. Here I come. Yum, yum. Mm, it's incredible. I can't believe I never ate at this cafe before. Now I don't even want to cook anything myself. I just want to eat their food every day. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my stars, I just had the best idea ever for my book. Well, maybe not the best and not ever, but I should definitely write it down. A kingdom made entirely out of different types of sweets with a small kitty-like creatures living in it. The clouds are going to be made out of fairy floss and when it rains, it's maple syrup instead of water. Oh, it sounds so wonderful. It makes me want to eat this kingdom up. Except that would be cruel. I would never eat sweets if they walked and talked like me. Oh my, I was so excited about this new idea. I didn't even notice how I ate everything. Wait a minute, that's not right. Did I get poisoned? Oh God, I got poisoned. Huh? How long was I dreaming? Why all the lights are out? Uh-oh, I gotta get out of here. Where is everybody? Hello, is anybody there? Um, it's not funny, you know. Okay. Don't panic. There must be some logical explanation why everyone left. I should look around for some clues and maybe find a staff member afterward. The drinks are still on the tables. Oh, <gasps> I can eat all the food. Oh, ruining it. Ow, I think I pricked my hand on one of these spikes. It's too dark to see everything where everything is. Did, did it just close itself? Thank stars, I took my hand out in time. Hmm. I couldn't find anything, and the only place where a staff member would be is probably through the door, so... I know I shouldn't trespass, but I think they will understand. I just got nowhere else to go. I knew it! <laughs> well, what is all this? Why is there so much blood? Is... is that a person? Hello? Oh no. Oh no, 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 they're dead. They're... I think I'm gonna be sick. What is going on here? Here you are, the last one. I finally found you. The, the last one? Today is the harvest day. Oh, you poor unlucky thing. If you visited us on any other day, I would let you go. Can't you let me go now? I, I promise I won't tell anyone. Just please don't harm me. How can I be sure you won't tell anyone? It's way too easy to manipulate a fly. That's how we lured you here. You flies are half wits. You would believe anything. But, but why would you do this? Well, we all need to eat something. It's the basics of life. Don't tell me. You're carnivorous. As carnivorous as the name of our cafe. You really are stupid. Did you believe that tall tale about the nectar? We use fly traps to catch our prey more easily and then take the bodies out before the plant dissolves them. How many flies did you, how many flies died here? 
Oh, lots and lots, my naive little glutton. And not just flies. Crickets, mice, moths, spiders, worms, snails, ants, snakes, birds, grasshoppers. Our own babies if we're hungry enough. Oh my god. Frogs are evil. You learned it here today. <laughs> Stop it. Don't tell me. I can't listen to this. Oh, what a shame. Today you're twice as unlucky, you know? What do you mean? Because today I feel like playing with my own food instead of letting the fly traps do all the work. Oh, I must have gotten the bad, bad end. <laughs> Stay away! I can't. I must finish preparing the meal. Oh. I gotta ah, ah, get him! Ah, stab him! Ah! Stab him! Did I get him? You will be a great meat pie. I got the knife. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Come here. Ooh! 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 Why won't you open? Come on, come on! Sing a song of sixpence. A pocket full of rye, four and twenty stupid flies baked in a pie. What kind of deranged lunatic are you? Oh, look at you. Still got some fight left in you. That's cute. Makes it more interesting. All these happy faces and sweet little talks. You're all villains. That's what you are. Oh, please. I'm the most genuine of them all. I don't make friends with what I'm going to eat. These guys, well, they say they truly love working in the cafe, but I don't care much for all these decorations. They say this way, we're more likely not to be found out, but I say they're just lily-livered amateurs. So you're saying you're experienced enough to get away with it, even if you were working alone? I suppose I am. Oh, really? And what if I call the police right here and now? Don't be daft. You're locked in and I have the advantage over you. So you don't have a knife. Don't you dare. Yeah. Well, aren't you full of surprises? How did I miss the moment when you picked up that lovely toy of yours? Perhaps you were too busy being a maniac psychopath. You don't even know how to wield it. Here, let me show you. Get off. Give me that knife now. Stop. Let go. What happened? Did I get him? Did I get him? I got him. And who's stupid now? I got him. Are you calling the police? I'm calling the ambulance. But don't you worry. I'll call the police soon after. Ambulance? Why are you calling the ambulance? Because I'm not like you. Because I'm not a murderer. Huh, I guess I underestimated you. Everybody does. Oh, that was ending two of two. What was the other one? I mean, the only thing I could have changed is not taking that. Can I take something else? Can I get... No? Okay. Yeah, what happens? Does he just kill me if I go down here? Oh, this is probably the other one. Singing his creepy song again. I can practically hear your tiny heart beating like a hammer in your chest. Are you scared? Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Don't know. Never been in the shoes of a victim. Damn. Look at you. I could do it so easily right now, but that's not much fun, is it? There's nothing challenging in this, nothing entertaining, and boy do I crave entertainment. What are you saying? Like I said, you're the last one and I'd rather prolong the pleasure, so... Don't you think you should start running? I opened a few more doors and there's plenty of time until the sunrise. So run as fast as you can and I'm going to follow. Just remember, if you stop, you're dead. I'm giving you a head start, little glutton. Where do I go? What do I do? Uh... Oh, doing it for me. I don't have to make decisions. That's gonna be fun. Just walking slowly. That's always the creepiest when the bad guy's walking slowly toward you. Like they have nothing to worry about. You're not getting away. Ending one of two. Get it! Well, apparently we're supposed to be nicer to flies. <laughs> and frogs are psychopaths. Leave a like if you also learned today that frogs are evil. <laughs>